all this time I thought it was a secret and you can't even pull rush through that? Everything I say is based on my own opinions and experience. I'm not speaking for the public and my feedback should be treated as such. You are watching Nico Evaluates. With 25 years of experience on Mega Man games, 7 years of doing the No Miss Buster Only challenge, and countless Snapster races, as well as being the QA tester for Mega Man Unlimited, I'm here to tell you my honest opinion on different Mega Man games. So sit tight and learn. Hello people and welcome back to Nico Evaluates, a bridged version of Mega Man Revenge of the Fallen. Let's go get our items. And I have some <laughs> sad news. If it's true, the uh, magnet beam looking thing isn't actually magnet beam. But I'm gonna hold off to that thought. But I'm gonna hold on to that thought. Because I wanna see it myself before I call out anything. The uh, viewers have been wrong before. But let's see. Uh, I learned my lesson there. Never call out stuff before I actually see it myself. Not that I don't trust anyone, which I usually don't, but it's better this way. Let's check what it is. So this you're using, uh, so we use the spark. Where is it? Oh my god, I didn't actually beat. Also one thing that I don't understand uh, that games do is uh, have multiple of the same mechanics on different stages. So for example, these conveyor belts are now in two stages. Uh, that's not usually the case in a typical Mega Man game. Uh, one stage should have a set of mechanics and they should not recycle at all. Uh, that's uh, also done in, in that style <clears throat> because uh, they want to teach you about the mechanics and if you have those you can't slide over that either? Oh my god. And if you have those uh, mechanics on multiple stages, you would have to teach them every time. Like, let's say you have conveyor belts on Magma Man stage and then you have them on Spark Man stage, for example. Then you would have to teach the player on both stages about the same conveyor belts, because you have them on both. Uh, that's why people uh, who originally made Mega Man happen in Capcom I believe, anyway, uh, that's the original reason why uh, they only had one set of mechanics in one stage. They wanted to teach you uh, about the uh, mechanic in that particular stage and not having to do that several times. Uh, this game sins a bit in that apartment uh, where it has the same mechanic on multiple stages and doesn't teach you in either. People are gonna play your game in a different order every time. So. That is exactly why we actually made the jump. That is exactly why you should not have the same mechanics on multiple stages, or at least if you do, teach the player on both of them, not just the other or <laughs> neither in this case. It's uh, you're missing one of the very points of what makes a good Mega Man game, and uh, it's critical. Like screens like this are fine. It's uh, a fun mechanic, but. We never got taught about those conveyor builds, so that's kind of a... I don't know, it, it's hard to miss these things as a developer, but that's why you should have... Ooh, that's why you should always have a testing team. It's kind of like writing your own book, you probably want someone to read it after, so that it makes actual sense. It, it uh, applies to anything, making movies, making books, a anything. You want some people to look at it first, to tell you uh, what's probably uh, not a good idea and what's, what actually is great. So when when you are building these stages, you don't you possibly are not gonna think about newbies playing your game uh, and newbies in the sense that they have never played it before. Even if it's a Mega Man game and they have played Mega Man before, but the point is that. You know how the game works. <clears throat> to you it seems easy and to you it seems logical. But you have to think outside the box, you have to think about other people and uh, how they would probably see your game. St stuff like that. I would have not known if I didn't run the game uh, before. But I can understand the mindset where... Uh, 
the developers don't always think through. The pharaoh shots uh, should stay on your head when you go through gates and transitions, so that's one thing to fix there. Unfortunate that uh, it actually got removed. Now I lost some power, and I can't. Apparently, I can't uh, charge a new one right after the other. It gets eaten somehow. Game is actually challenging, and uh, it's one thing that I have to give credit for this game. Uh, even though sometimes you go a bit overboard with the challenge, and the uh, some of the challenge comes from uh, just killing the player for fun. Uh, the bosses, while not good, uh, they provide enough challenge that y you're not gonna just beat this game in one sitting. Very rarely, uh, I, I think, uh, people are actually gonna beat this in one sitting, unless you're doing like an 8 hour stream. But uh, in that sense, the game does have replay... replayability. Uh, but it's not it's not all good. And don't have the water spark you as soon as you enter, the, enter that uh, room there. So... Wait like uh, four seconds before you spark the whole water section. You don't have any time to check that out before you actually land on the water there. We're gonna find all kinds of stuff when we replay these stages and it's good that we are replaying and the only reason we are replaying is because I keep dying at the bosses. They should be a bit more simple. Mega Man is... I, I can understand uh, the whole idea of this game is that the rob robot masters are back and they're more menacing. I, I get that, but you can make robot masters more difficult by altering them and not necessarily just making them difficult for no reason. Uh, you should uh, think about uh, more about positioning and uh, the types of attacks the robot masters do instead of just making them spam you to death. That's not really how it works. It's hard to read his jumps, because he does those low jumps. He should always jump high. That's just my opinion. Don't make him do low jumps, because uh, they're extremely difficult to read. What was that? He was kind of like hugging the ceiling. So he has different heights for his jumps, and that kind of messes you up. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, it has the same problem than the original Sparkman room, where you just get cornered all the fucking time, and there's pretty much nothing you can do. But you have a better chance in the normal room than this. Very hard to read him. Very difficult. Like there, I was not sure if he, he was gonna land on the absolute edge or that part. So I just uh, took the chance. I had no idea. He doesn't follow a specific pattern. He just jumps where he pleases. You know the satisfaction when uh, you die to a robot master like three times and then you... Slowly you start to understand how they work and you you get to start and dance around them That's when you realize that you actually learn something, but here that aspect doesn't exist at all There's nothing to learn. It's just you can uh, dodge the bosses and uh, Do your best abilities, I guess there's not there's not much else you can do. It's just a uh, it's uh, a damage race almost all the time if you don't have their weakness you're really fucked. Like, look at that. I still remind you, this is someone who's played Mega Man for 25 years, and I'm struggling. Oh, for the all for the wrong reasons here. Are we actually gonna do it? That like, I get no satisfaction from killing him. That's just like, okay, I got lucky. What a shit show. That's a well done part, I think. Beginning of Magma Man is uh, pretty good. Let's check this out. <clears throat> okay. Energy saver makes you use less weapon energy. <laughs> why is why is it using the magnet beam graphic? I wanted my magnet beam. Less weapon energy. Don't use the same sprite for something else that means a complete different thing in a complete different way. Please, no. I was excited for my fucking magnet beam. God, why does it look like a magnet beam? No! You can't be that lazy, make your own graphic for it. Don't use existing sprites that mean the complete opposite thing. And I forgot you can use the exit module. 
So the other was magnets. Let's go grab the other item as well. I'm be beginning to think that these items are not worth it at all. Not if they look like magnet... fucking magnet uh, beams. I just realized that the room layouts might be pretty similar, at least in Magnet Mass stage. The room layout is extremely uh, identical to the uh, real Magnet Man uh, layout. God damn it! Ooh! Oh my god, that's why I hate this part, because of the ceiling. And the enemy is right at the edge, so it just keeps uh, respawning back. Okay. I kind of got used to uh, charging as well, because I'm not looking at Mega Man when I charge. So that's my way to get around that. It still hurts my eyes, but I have to charge at some point. Well, not necessarily have to, but it makes the game so much easier. Good uh, collision box uh, on Mega Man. If you saw that, we were extremely close to the ceiling and still made it. Didn't get bumped off. That's well done. Uh, good hit boxes are extremely important in uh, Mega Man games, especially. So if you press up against the ceiling, you're gonna get dropped off. I see. There's there is the item. Let's not die right here, shall we? Oh my god. Just out of our reach. Not a good placement. Oh! Rush shit. There we go. Now we can leave the stage. Let's see if there's something up there. I forgot already. Oh. Oh god, no! It's. Did you really do this? Fuck your secrets then. So you actually you walk off Rush? Like, are you actually mad? But it's good that you can't use Chet underwater, it makes you uh, use Marine if you ever get it. Why do you walk off of it? Oh my god. Yeah, that's gonna happen. Uh, that's cool. That's a huge uh, debuff to Chet. You can't. What was that sound? Oh, I, we got some health. So you can't just. Uh, man, every time we come here, I hate this section even more. I'm not sure if I like that yet or not. Gonna have to think about it. Every uh, Mega Man game so far has had a bit, a bit of a different rush, but it's kind of a heart attack city to... Uh, and you can never do this. Kind of a heart attack city that you actually walk off of it. That's gonna take some time to get used to. Not scolding you for that change, it's just uh, very different and very strange. It makes you think that maybe you didn't know how to uh, attach Mega Man's feet into Rust Chit. And that's why it gives uh, such a cheap feeling, I guess. So let's check if there is a secret on the left side. There better be. After all that I've gone through... Is the ceiling too low? Why is Russia so slow? Oh god! What the... You see that? So if you launch Rush from the ladder... That happens. Oh, oh god! Why did I... Oh my god. And that's a diss. Hmm. He doesn't go through? Oh my god. All this time I thought it was a secret and you can't even pull Rush through that? Are you serious? There's an invisible wall? Why does it look like a fucking secret? You have got to be kidding me. Oh my god. Fuck this stage then. That was disappointing. Let's go to Stone Man. Oh yeah, we have all of the items from Centaur Man, so why does that section look like there's something there? What a fucking cock this. It's the reason... Uh, the reason is that the uh, screen keeps uh, scrolling to the left. Makes you think there's something there. Well, yeah, there is something there. An invisible fucking wall. Ah, oh, that that hurts my soul. Oh, this music. Oh, no. <laughs> These are cool remixes, but they just don't suit the game at all. This guy from Mega Man 9. 
Hmm, actually fits this stage. Works almost the same. But he launches the rocks before he even shoots him. That was not usually the case. But there's an animation to support that idea. These I hate because you're never gonna know where they're gonna go. And again, no teaching elements. Let's see where this goes. Back to the left. No teaching provided. You just have to know. And now we're stuck. Didn't expect anything less. I just had to test it out. It's the one thing that I scold this developer all the time now is the teaching elements that are not present anywhere in the game. Like it's not it's not like well I made the game for veterans, they should know how they work. It's not that. It's that the mechanics in all of these games are different. Make them a bit jerky on those platforms as well. But uh we're not gonna know how you build the mechanics if you don't teach us. We probably wanna go up here. Huh, that's okay. And we got our prize for that. And then we immediately get fucked in the ass if we don't use weapons. Great. Don't punish the player for actually doing good. And probably we just wanna take the more difficult route usually in these games. Can I jump through this block? Yes I can. Now let's see if I made the wrong decision or if we have to go back. Okay. So... At least uh... what? Oh yeah, he shoots through the... Okay, so he barely does. I was not gonna think he would, but he does. Okay. Are those platforms? Hmm. I would make those platforms stick out more. They look too much like the background, and they're the same color as well. I have to see this. Look at this jump! Holy fuck. These jumps are way too big. Like pixel perfect jumps, stop it. Good animation on that, even though you should not be able to kill that thing when it's on the ground, ground level. Yeah, that should not be a thing, it should uh, go past it. Got one full E tank. At least the game is not handing our, uh, us free E tanks. Let's test that again. Uh, Oh, they don't even attack before you are right next to them. Okay. That's fine. Oh, now it works. What the... Hmm, is it because... Is it because of the eye size? It's probably because of the eye size. Okay. So the hitboxes are so accurate that it kind of plays uh, into my favor in that situation more than the enemies. This guy has more frames during that uh, stomp attack, which is fine. Fuck! Holy shit! <laughs> That's... Did not expect him to scroll back on the screen without me actually seeing him being scrolled on. Think about the positioning again on that enemy there. I would. Uh, don't make platforms like this. If you're not... If your graphics are... If your graphics are constructed out of blocks, don't do stuff like this. I uh, don't have transparent edges on your uh, ground parts, because that's not gonna work out, as you can see. You can just stand on nothing. So make that a full square. Don't make fancy stuff if your game doesn't support it. Oh god. Well, at least we saw that uh, before it was too late. That was cool. That was a good introduction to the enemy. Oh yeah, that... Uh, I, I know that uh, item. We don't die if we drop on spikes. I think it's one use only though. One extra hit from spikes. Oh, I see. So every time it gives one extra hit. That's okay. Okay, that's kind of a rough thing. But this platform uh, gave you the opportunity to dodge it as well. Honestly, uh, this might be one of the better stages in the game. Yeah, it's the eye height. Wow, that is accurate. I like that. So, why didn't you make more stages like this? This is extremely fun. And those are different colors if we, if they go diagonally. That was a cool stage. Best uh, stage uh, so far. Incredible work here. Well, not incredible, but okay. That's pretty cool. Don't let us down the boss now. That was uh, 
extremely fun. Let's see. Oh god! Oh man, okay. How's your power stone this time? Power stone still not as good as the ground attack apparently. Whoo! Well, he gives us enough time to react. We should probably jump when he lands. Oh god. That's hard to dodge. It's actually not bad. I'm impressed after all of the shit. Whoa! After all of the shit we've gone through. Don't know how I dodged the first one there. Well. It's gonna be hard again with just a buster, but it's not too difficult. Like, he telecrafts well, his new moves are fun, the power stone has a bit of an upgrade, but that's again the problem of um, random moves. It's, that is gonna happen when you just make the boss uh, do random moves. That would be completely avoided if you made, the, made a patternized robot master. So, but that's not necessarily the fault of Stone Man, that's the fault of each of your bosses. They work like in a Street Fighter Cross Mega Man where everything is random. So that is gonna happen on each of these bosses. Eventually they are gonna do uh, two attacks in a row that might not be good together for the player. In that sense where uh, they do a hard attack and then they, then they do an impossible attack right after that and it's... Hard, hard to dodge, when you have just dodged the previous one, you don't have time to dodge the new one, if the patterns are not uh, well designed to work together. That's what happens when you have random assets, or random moves rather. But as you can see I'm getting used to the fight, which is pretty cool. See this is what I mean, I die once and I already have a better idea about this. Dying to bosses is more common than to die to the stage. As what comes to learning anyway. So uh, we we're all different. Okay. Again, the problem of random uh, randomness. This is the all this is the uh, first time we see that move. Didn't see that all in the previous fight. So I would just just take the random uh, assets out and create a patternized robot master. I know it's a lot easier to code random, you just input random and you're done. You have four different moves and just say that it does them randomly. That's a lot easier to code than to actually code a pattern in. I understand that. It's logical, but it's gonna show on your game. Use the extra five minutes to actually code the patterns in. If you don't know how to do that, then hmm, I'll stay out of this business. It's one of the key elements in Mega Man. What is your weakness? We are done fucking with you. Magnets are the weakness of Stone Man. I was like, let's start with the least probable one. Yet, that's the weakness. I would have made uh, probably Rain Flush the weakness of a Spark Man. And uh, for Stone Man, eh, it's kind of hard to make the weakness, I suppose. But not magnets, I think. It's very strange. But it does play in the favor... But it does kind of play in your favor because the magnets do home up and he spends some time up in the ceiling. So it makes sense in that regard. Just a bit of a strange weakness idea. Magnets against rock. Of course, they are all robots, so it kind of makes sense in that regard. Not bad. The best stage I've seen so far. Very good. Alright. I'm happy. Like, fuck, I'm happy here. Oh yeah, post Mega Man stretch. If you enjoyed, and if you agreed on what I said, leave a like. If you disagreed, leave a dislike. Catch you on the next one.